All right, what's going on, everybody? So I want to give you guys this update video. I was banned on YouTube for a week. I haven't been able to post. I've been posting on my other platforms, but for YouTube specifically, and also consequently Rumble because I, I've been traveling. I just got back. Glad to be back, but I was away in Asia for some just personal business and some time away for various things, and I'm back. But I want to give you guys this word because we're living in a time where, like I've said before, there's a lot of persecution, there's a lot, a lot of kingdom work going on, but the devil does not like it. And for many of us, you are being encouraged by other people, whether they are fellow Christians stepping up to do kingdom work, whatever it is, even in this video, if this encourages you, uh, praise the Lord. But I want to give you this word because many people are, when when they're hit, when they're down and out, they don't get back up and they don't strategize the way Jesus commands us to do. And so this is the word I have for many of you. I've been banned many times over the years for many different sort of quote unquote infractions. I'm not going to talk about the reason why they were specific on some of the reasons. And of course, I don't agree with it, but this is not to debate the case or defend myself. But wherever you are, where, wherever I am, wherever anybody is, there are going to be moments for which you are going to be persecuted. You are going to be placed before certain people. And speaking from Matthew 10, where Jesus talks about persecution coming to many believers, we're in a time for which to each your own, you're being brought forth against governors, uh, of, of counselors, many people for which you have to speak before them, as and as Jesus talks about, that you have to be careful when you are brought before these people. And he says that you are being sent out as sheep among wolves, that you have to be shrewd as snakes, as one version says, or wise as serpents and harmless as doves. A lot of people, they are harmless as doves. They're very um, meek. They're very humble. They're a peaceable person, but they are not wise or shrewd as serpents. And Jesus specifically calls out and makes a simile, a, a metaphor to serpents. A serpent, if you think about all the examples biblically, it, it's not a good thing, right? Uh, Satan himself is the serpent, is a, is a snake. But Jesus is talking about the quality that the serpent exhibits, which is being shrewd, which is being wise, right? It's not being deceitful. It's not being malicious in any way. It's that some of these qualities that a serpent has, Jesus is commanding us to, to do this when he is sending you out among wolves. And so when you are brought and delivered up before councils and synagogues and, and governors and kings for his name's sake, you have to be smart about it. You have to be tactical. You have to be strategic. You, if you get thrown a punch and you're knocked down, you have to realize what is it and why that you're being uh, knocked around, right? And so you have to navigate around these things. The times, and especially in my calling as a YouTuber, as a person a person that gets censored all over social media, for many of you, you get censored, you get canceled by your own family, your friends, whatever situation you are in. But the Bible and, and Jesus specifically commands us that in this time, that you have to uh, be tactical in this way. And it also says that when you are uh, delivered up, that you, do not have, you don't have to worry about what you have to say, that in that hour, and go read the passage. It's very encouraging. In that hour, the Holy Spirit will speak to you and the Father himself will give you the words to say in that time. So you don't have to worry about that. And so I want to pose this thing for many people that are Christians or quote unquote Christians today. You are never brought before governors and kings. And I'm not saying at, at the highest level, but you're never brought before some group, some council for which uh, the Holy Spirit gives you a chance to defend, to speak, to give testimony, to, to bear witness to whatever circumstance or righteousness or truth that you have to stand up for. And many people, they are closet Christians. Many people, they're afraid to stand out, to speak up, and to be bold, to be courageous. And so you're not getting these opportunities because Jesus specifically says, if you're being sent out among wolves, if you're being sent out among all the, the, the social media, the mainstream media, all of the people that are... Uh, giving whatever you know a ter a term you want to put it the woe culture the liberal culture if you're being brought before unbiblical values among people that speak from their flesh they speak from an ungodly place and if you are given that opportunity in that moment the bible says that the father the holy spirit will speak through you in that time so the question you have to ask yourself is are you given these moments i'm not saying you get these moments every day 
But do you get moments for which you have to be shrewd, you have to be wise, you have to be innocent as doves, you have to be tactical, strategic, and to be able to navigate around this? You know, all the people that are evil, they are uh, conniving, they're deceitful, uh, satanic people, they are very good at being strategic and tactical. We have to equally as a body of Christ, as, as Christians, be tactical, strategic, and to be able to, na and I'm not saying be deceitful and sinful and use bad tactics, right? Be Make sure you're using righteous, godly tactics. But what I'm saying is within the realm of possibility of making sure that you're not uh, outright sinning, what is it that you have to do to get around it? There are certain keywords, there are certain phrases that I don't say because it triggers the algorithm for which uh, YouTube will ban me. There are ways for which I need to get around how I message code words or other things where I just use different platforms. But I still am called to this ministry. I'm still called to this platform. Many people say, hey, you should get off YouTube. You should go somewhere else. I am on other platforms. But the Lord still called me to this, uh, basically this sheep among wolves on YouTube. And so for me as a testimony, and as many of you have witnessed over the years, if you've been following me for a while, you know and understand the persecution. You know the people in the comments. You know YouTube themselves and many other people. They don't agree with some of the words that these people, myself and many others, righteous people are trying to say in terms of the right messaging and the truth that needs to be put out there. And so that's why we're in a time for which you yourself in your own regard, in your own instance, you have to understand the tactics of the enemy. You have to understand what Jesus is actually commanding us to do because the Father himself, he will speak at that hour. And if you're not, if you're not placed in a position for which you can speak and allow the Holy Spirit to work in you in that experience, in that moment, then I would question what is it that you're doing with your Christian life, with your kingdom, Christ-centered, uh, kingdom expansion life, right? What are you? What are, what are you doing, right? And so I'm not saying that everybody's in the speaking mentality like myself, or uh, as Jesus was commissioning his disciples to go out. I'm not saying those things, but in whatever regard. Where, where is the opportunity that you're given for which the Lord is working through you, for which you can stand up and take action instead of inaction, instead of being passive, instead of being cowering in a corner and being in a position for, for which you're not stepping up to what God wants you to do. And so we're in, in an hour, guys, for which you have to be more shrewd. You have to be more wise. You have to be more tactical and strategic. You have to be smart about how you want to overcome the, the, the tactics of the enemy. Many people are timid. Many people, they just want to let things work and they confuse things like waiting on God as, as having inaction and not doing much. You have to step up. You have to be able to take arms, spiritually speaking, by putting on the full armor of God and to be able to pray, to have the word of God as a weapon to go out and defeat the enemy. So we're in a time now, guys, for which, yes, I'm always thrown punches. Yes, this is my own testimony. But for many of you, in the same regard, many people, they give up. Many people, they're not smart about it. You have to be smart about whatever calling, whatever area you are in, so that you can go out and make sure that you are being sent out as a sheep among wolves, that you are allowed to be able to have God work through you. And so, guys, persecution is here. It's our, It's been here for a while. We are in a thick battle. And the rest of the passage, if you read it, talks about how brothers and sisters and family members, they will be pitted against each other and even cause them to be put to death, the Bible says, and that you will be hated for my name's sake. There's a thick battle going on at all levels. And for many people, even in the highest uh, areas, whether it's in government, in positions of power, thankfully, some of the good guys, and I'm giving you as a word of encouragement, many people are stepping up and they are acting out what Christ has called them to act out. But the question is, will you do that? At the grassroots level, all the people that claim to be Christians, all the people that have quote unquote regular lives, are you doing that yourself? Or are you going to be a backseat bench warmer? Are you going to be a person that's not going to live up to what God has called you to do in this hour? Because many people, we all have a role. Some people may be more important, more critical than others. But for the vast majority of us, we have to be doing our own part in our own family, our own work, our own calling, in our community, in our church, whatever it is. And so let me ask you and pose this to you. Are you willing to be persecuted and to step up and allow the Lord to work in you? But you must be able to take heed the warning, the advice, 
the counsel that Christ himself is giving us in Matthew 10. So just want to encourage you guys. Love you guys. A lot of things are coming. It's an exciting time. I'll talk to you guys very soon.